Okay, so you can see I have uh, some pedals here from an old uh, computer game. Found it on the side of a road with a, a free sign next to it, so I figured I'd grab it. And uh, I hooked it up to my Arduino in the breadboard, and I'm able to read in the values. Um, you can see if I press the... I'm reading in the values of the gas and the brake right now. And you see that there's zero. As I slowly push in the gas, you see the values go up. They're at 100, 200, and they'll go all the way up. Now it's all the way on the floor, and it's reading the max value of 1023. And the same with the brake. And then, of course, they can both go in, too. Um, and it's pretty easy set up. See, under here, well, it's kind of dark, but pretty much they both share a, uh, the red and the white is the, the power. The black ones are the ground. And then the blue and the green are the uh, sensors that actually read the analog data. So you can see here, the white and the black, that's our power and ground. So I'm just um, pulling that into the Arduino there to give us some power. And then the yellow and the orange, the orange is connected to the blue, which happens to be the gas pedal. And the yellow is hooked up to the green, which happens to be the brake. And this is... Uh, Real simple setup. If you've ever hooked up a potentiometer, when you turn the the knob, it varies the resistor, which will read in that analog value. And the brakes work the same way. It just changes the resistance depending on where the the position of the actual pedal. So that's just a simple setup for gas pedals to repurpose because now that once now that we're reading in these values we can use them for our next project.